Hey, what's up, guys? Today we'll be talking about the about to say Jalen Ramsey, the Von Miller signing to the Los Angeles Rams. Signed while I was in school, uh, so obviously was not able to record a video. All four of us were not able to. But today I'll be breaking down why it may not be the blockbuster deal that people think it is, and maybe it's a overrated trade. Maybe like a Julio Jones one. We'll see. Make sure to stay tuned for the whole video. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. More NFL content to come soon. Your best, the best youth NFL an analysts. Stumbling a little bit today. Let's get into it. And, and I just want to start on on kind of the note that we'll we'll start first. It's about what time is it? It was about eleven. No, it was no. Sorry, it's about twelve twelve thirty. Let's say, and uh, yeah. So Von Miller was traded to the Los Angeles Rams. Um, obviously, you know, um, I think what I thought would be was a, was a little bit more unexpected. Uh, talk to, to everyone on our channel. And I was like, actually was. Von Miller has been rumored to, to be traded, uh, to be traded, yeah, to be traded um, throughout this offseason. Kind of throughout, I would say kind of, I just an Odo Beckham Jr. video. Kind of the, the same as, as, as uh, he he's kind of been rumored for a while. I don't know why I'm something to get there. Um, he's kind of been rumored to be traded for a while, and I think finally he gets traded. Was this well? First, the Rams hate the NFL draft. I guess they trade away another two day two picks. I believe it's a second and a third rounder. So they literally have no draft picks for the rest of the NFL. They they do not have any picks. Um, they trade away a second and a third. I'm not even sure where they got that second and third, um, but they trade those away to acquire Von Miller, um, who will obviously be pairing up with Jalen Ramsey and Aaron Donald. Obviously very scary, and I think um, obviously that's a good defense. Um, I think not one you'd want to go against. I think Rams stock, to say the least, is going up. I'll, I'll, I want to go over quickly before I think why I talk about why it may not be as good one. I'll go over why I think it is a good one. You're going up with arguably the the best defensive player we have seen um, in this in this sport um, the past decade. Um, arguably the best uh, cornerback in the National Football League currently. Um, and and uh, one of the best head coaches and offense that is refurbished and, and a top three one in the league electric. And you add a Von Miller outside linebacking presence to a defense that now you can put uh, an Aaron Donald into that 3-4 defense, 4-3 as either a defensive tackle or 3-4 as an edge. Um, and now you have Von Miller as a threat on the outside. You obviously have Leonard Floyd to who they gave that gigantic contract to this offseason. And it's good. Um, I think you bring in Von Miller this year uh, and I think the impact he will have this year will be bigger than it will be in future years. And maybe it won't. Um, but Von Miller kind of been obviously was out last season um, and, and leaves a Broncos team that obviously the Rams are better and I think he has more of a chance of, of getting a ring with this Rams team I think that may what maybe what it comes down to obviously he already does have a Super Bowl ring um you know when Peyton Manning was on the Broncos but maybe he's looking for a second so you kind of look at his is he going to the Rams to get a ring probably not um but I think you know maybe a change of scenery was good for him. Maybe he, the the altitude got to him, got to his head. But I think this was obviously not a Von Miller choice. I think it was probably a collaboration between the organization and him to decide to uh, for him to move on from Denver. And I think it's a Denver team that um, is rebuilding. Um, while they're still you know obviously a decent team, they're rebuilding. Obviously defensively, they kind of have this new generation coming with Sertan, Bradley Chubb, um, Justin Simmons, uh, you know Calhoun, all of those you know Ojemudia all those younger guys who they brought in the past you know two three years and I think Von Miller makes it makes sense I think they're kind of not clearing house but they see Von Miller's as big contract at 32 and I think they want to move on from him and I think obviously perfect fit you see this all the time is those veteran guys who are on you know average to below average teams to get moved on from um, because they notice that what well, look you've given us a, a great 10 years um, it's it's time to move on I think that's what it came down to and the Rams pick him up and, and definitely a surprising one um, I think this automatically makes this defense what was already a top five to maybe a top three defense and I think Von Miller obviously is one of the most explosive edge rushers we've ever seen enter this league he's a guy who can get sacks he's a guy who can disrupt games and when he is on his game he can be the one of the best if not the best edge rusher in the league but I think you really have to look at this um, in the long term. Von Miller is a 32-year-old linebacker who just came off a season-ending injury. Um, this year, he's been good. Four and a half sacks, I believe he has. Um, started off the season very well with that two-sack game against the Giants, but has kind of slowed down. Um, I think he will... 
and and I don't I do do not want to say this is over. I do not want to say Von Miller is washed, but I think this is a trade that we need to look at in retrospect and be like, okay, this is a good trade, but this is not a league changing. Oh my God, this is the most surprising trade I've ever seen. Um, you know, type thing. This is a Tom Brady signing with the Bucks type of of move, or, or you know, so, you know, something like that. I think this is a trade that while it makes this Rams team better, I think it makes this team better for about a year, uh, or not even. I think it, it makes this defense, you know better than it was for about half the year. And I think then going into next year, um, Aaron Donald's a year older. Jalen Ramsey's a year older, although he is only 27. And then Aaron Donald, or not Aaron Donald, Von Miller is 33. Um, edge rushing is physically one of the most demanding positions in the NFL. Um, bursting off the line of scrimmage, going up against big offensive tackles, constantly hitting your head against them, having to you know get around the edge, either sack the quarterback or go after a running back. It's a demanding position, especially an outside linebacker where Von Miller will be forced to play coverage a little bit, um, especially in kind of that scheme where they like to drop outside guys into coverage um, on that Rams defense, which may be a bit revamped, obviously, since Staley has moved on. But I think it's, it's uh, while I, I like the move, I think it's a little bit overrated. I think you have to look at it in retrospect where age comes into effect very quickly in the NFL, um, in, in the NBA and, and, and in the um, and, and professional soccer um, or football, however you want to call it. Age, you know, you can be a little bit older, especially in soccer. You know, you look at the big guys, Ronaldo, Messi, Zlatan, all those guys who are, are still very good, showing a little bit of my soccer knowledge there. And and then, uh, obviously, in the NBA, you still have LeBron guys who are – it's it's still, obviously, very physically demanding. It's much easier – or or not easier. I, I, I don't want to get into that conversation, but it's much more uh, – I'd say football is probably one of the most, if not the most physically demanding sport um, in the world. You have to put on pads. You have to go up and hit against guys. And, phys- you know, it hurts people. This is the sport that people get injured constantly. We've seen, I mean, each year in and year out, 10 key players in the league are out for the season, out for several weeks. You look at this year, Derek, Mah- Derek Henry looks like he's going to be out, Jameis Winston, all those guys who have torn their ACL and, 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 and been out for the, obviously, on the Rams. Cam Akers is now out for the season with an Achilles injury, and it comes down to another you know another word that I was saying with Odo Beckham does Von Miller be, become appreciate a de- depreciating asset and I think it's not even um, does he I think he will because Von Miller is is not going to get better um, Von Miller is uh, we know hit his peak I would say about three years ago and I think he's kind of on the backside of his career right now. I mean, I think, you know, I think it would definitely be a different story if he hadn't had that season ending injury last year. I'm not sure what it was. I don't know why I can't remember. I I don't know if it was a leg. And I feel for some reason, I feel like pec injury, but that was Chandler Jones. I don't think Von Miller had that pec injury, but it definitely comes down to the fact that this, he will not be that, you know, he won't be that guy for the Rams. I think that's something he may not be noticing on that Broncos defense, you know, for the past five, six years, Von Miller has been that guy. And on this, this Rams team, he won't be, um, which may be good because maybe he's not getting double team. Maybe he can get a little bit more production since Aaron Donald will have to be blocked. Um, since, you know, Jalen Ramsey will not be thrown to maybe he does get a little bit more, um, time or, or definitely a little bit more space, um, to, to produce. But I think when you look at this trade in retrospect and, and, and as an, a Giants fan, as an NFL, as a, as a, you know, someone who breaks down analyzes parts of the league and players and has a channel on the podcast and talks about it every day um when i saw this trade it was like wow good move rams look like they got decent value they didn't give up first round pick and they get a guy who will you know make an immediate impact the veteran in the league you look in retrospect i'm not someone who's going to be very very scared of this rams team for for and, and I, I wouldn't say that because you go up against this defense now, yes, you're, there's going to be definitely an intimidation factor going up against those three guys. But I think really retrospectively, it's it's not a – and I've, I, I feel like I've been dancing around it and I've come talking about it. It's just – it's not as big of a move as people think it is. And, and I would – you know, let us know – let me know what you think in the comments down below. But I, I don't think it's the kind of move that is going to – have the Rams go, you know, push them, and it will push them farther in that Super Bowl run. But I think you look at Von Miller, and I, and I think definitely you can argue that Von Miller would be that difference maker when it, when they get to the playoffs. And I think that you could definitely have a convincing argument about that. So as always, you can get in the comments. But I just see it the opposite way, and it, maybe it's me being a pessimist, which I generally am a little bit more of when it comes to sports. Um, you know, I, I think you definitely look at it both ways. It's kind of why I acknowledged in the beginning of the video. You know, obviously the value for the trade, the impact he will have, blah blah blah. Um, but I think. You know, there's two type of fans. You look at 
situations short term you look at them long term um you know right now the packers are very good but next year they will be losing their quarterback and receiver they probably won't be good so long term you're like okay this team isn't good and they're the kind of organizations that plan for long term the the rams are very very much a win now organization a let's plan for currently this year um and then you look at other organizations giants jets all those guys who aren't as good they bring in coaches quarterbacks players build in the draft for the future um you know sign free agents who aren't as good now but can develop um and i think the rams aren't that kind of team so obviously that's kind of the where whatever direction your organization is pointing in and i think it's you know this, this von miller uh signing is, is no no different this is exactly what we expected it to be a signing for right now um and, and they want von miller to make an impact for them now which obviously no problem with that and i think it it, it will be a big impact and i definitely ramble on these but i think you know it's 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 a great part of of, of talking about the league i think to give you to give you my opinion on this, um, I'm not sure how many people will, but I think Von Miller um, is a fantastic player. I think obviously giving him his respect. I feel like very very recently I've been denouncing, not denouncing, this is not the right word, but kind of not talking great about older players, veteran players. But I think we have to get to the point in someone's career and be like, okay, they are here, they were there, can they produce still? Yeah, but you know they're going down. Um, you know, that, that, that hill was climbed, that climax was hit, that peak was hit, that, you know, potential was reached. Um, and I think Von Miller is the kind of guy where, you know, he, you know, won't be, won't get better. Um, he, he, Von Miller is as good as he is now. And again, that could all be wrong. I mean, we could very, very likely, I, I, you know, big part of being a sports analyst is you have to acknowledge the other side. We could very likely see Von Miller go to the Rams and get, have a 10 sack season the rest of the season, have 12 sacks, um, because of that potential of they are going to go against Aaron Donald and Von Miller, and they still have Leonard Floyd. Um, I think it's definitely one of these guys is going to probably, you know, get a, uh, you know, an increase in production because of, of that kind of, you know, how much they're going to have to block. I mean, there's, there's going to be three really good guys. I think Joseph Day is one of the better tackle or defensive tackles in the league. And then, you know, obviously they have to worry about, you know, Jalen, not very much worry about Jalen Ramsey, but he'll be covering guys and they won't be able to throw the ball as quickly. Um, and, and obviously very good Rams defense. So, you know, it's definitely there to see, but hope you guys did enjoy the video. Let me know what you think about Von Miller down below, but I think um, good signing and, and yeah. All right, guys, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Do make sure to subscribe. Follow us on social media, the underscore sports underscore scoop, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter. You can follow us as well. I have my own personal Twitter if you want to tweet at me over there. And you can always message me, Keen underscore MCD5, C I A N underscore MCD5 on Instagram if you have any football talk you want to talk about. And always get in the comments. If you guys want to have a conversation like a, like we're texting each other in the comments by all means do we've had it before it's a ton of fun we respond very quickly when i get the notification i'll respond so you know as always comment any of your thoughts down below if you're a rams fan let me know what you think about this deal um i think definitely you know having fans raw opinions on it helps and as always subscribe if you guys are new the goal is 2000 by the summer we're almost at 1600 so if you could help us get there that would mean the world this is key mcdermott the sports hoop analyst more videos to come finally we're getting more out go check out our weekly prediction we posted i believe i'm not sure we're not posting this it was either yesterday or late or earlier today um and yeah go let us know what you guys think about that there are four other hosts on the channel so if you didn't like me there's three other chances you may like the channel so let us know we all bring different personalities different opinions on the national football league but i hope you guys did enjoy let me know what you think in the comments down below key mcdermott see you next time